Don't ask how he got onto the roof of the Ministry of Defence in the first place, but he did. After a mission briefing that really should have been done before reaching his destination, Sam encountered his first problem, mounting the drain pipe that obviously must be used to get down. Jumping didn't seem to work. Boarding it from the top wasn't the plan. He couldn't shimmy across onto it. So Jumping worked. Sam was sure he tried that and failed, but it must have been his imagination. He energetically pulled himself up onto the balcony and crept through the unlocked door. Well done, Sam. Unfortunately, an enemy walked through the opposite door at the exact same time. Sam professionally stayed quiet, waiting for the right time to strike. That time eventually came, and Sam was pleased to find that the CCTV camera didn't mind employees sleeping on the job. The same couldn't be said for Sam's agency. The corridor beyond contained two guards. Sam went to grab the enemy and missed, resorted to punching him, alerting the other guard. Officer down. I think he's Sam finished it all off nicely by mucking it up as usual, as he drew his gun instead of punching the other one. Because of those two functions being bound to the same button, some children lost their father that day. Sam entered a stairwell and destroyed a lot of CCTV equipment on his way down to the bottom. Once there, he eliminated another camera and alerted the taxi driver. Sam's sneaky prowess had evidently improved as he managed to contain the situation and extracted lots of boring stuff that you wouldn't want to hear. Sam finally got bored of his whining as well and finished it off quickly. He made his way back through the level and into the end room. He unlocked the door to outside and shimmied across to the kitchen. Oh dear Sam, looks like you can't dump bodies wherever you want. Time to go back and to fix the situation. Then again, leaving bodies in a hallway is careless. Time to get back to the kitchen. Oh, not again. Sam did the same as before and also went all the way to the basement to conceal an already hidden body. This time he wasn't taking any chances and because of it, some more children lost their fathers that day. Confidently, he went to shimmy across again and... Oh, come on! And then Sam remembered the sleeping guy in the first room. Oh dear. He put him in a dark corner, sparing his life, well, maybe, and was able to get to the kitchen unalarm activatingly. He tried several tactics, all without success. Luring enemies into the freezer didn't work, surely a first for any computer game ever. Next he delivered a level of violence that your mum would be proud of by missing every single shot. Finally, he jammily snuck through without being seen and skulked about in the shadows, probably playing this game the way it was meant to be played. Damn you, chairs! Amazingly, his softly sneaky approach worked well, even though they were hunting him down with every little noise that he made. He felt like a true secret agent. It didn't last long as it all went disastrously wrong and everybody died, but that's their fault, I suppose. He messaged the general on MySpace and he came a-running to check out his feed and friend requests, and Sam used him for his eyeballs to advance to the courtyard. Just one more CCTV camera to go! The guard on duty was clearly awake this time as it spotted Sam, even though he was hidden behind a wall. This surely breaks the rules of stealth games. The next Thursday he attempted to infiltrate the Ministry of Defence for his 20th time on his final warning from head office who were fed up of this by now. He got to the courtyard and dropped some eaves on the glass walled elevator. Ha! Stupid guy just couldn't keep his mouth shut. Three enemies happened to waltz into the courtyard at that exact second and Sam made his way to the other end using super sneaky tactics and then realised that he didn't have to use this room, but instead exploit the open window, probably opened by the same guy in the elevator who talked about the security holes. I wonder if it's like this in real life. Sam reached the top, then jumped into the room and activated a level change. He couldn't be bothered with any more today, so he remained suspended in the air. Until next time. On the next video, Sam tries to beat the mission by being nice to people.